Hello guys, welcome to Modern Web Channel again. In today's video we'll learn to create this, a visiting card designer using HTML, CSS and JS only. We have a heading at the top. And card on the left. You can add your logo, company name, slogan, website, email over the card. On the right, we have upload button, along with different backgrounds. And we also have a download button which of course works. You can see, we have downloaded the card design with exact text and logo over the card. So, before starting the video, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe because more amazing content are on the way. And you can also support me on Patreon and buy me a coffee. Your support really motivates me to make these videos. We have index.html style.css and app.js file for this project. Start with HTML basic template. Link style.css file here. This is Roboto Google font CDN. Add app.js script inside body. Once done adding external files. Make an H1 element for heading. Star selector is used to style all elements at once. Set each element's margin and padding to zero. Give a minimum width and height to body. Set body's background color. Set font family to Roboto. And give some padding to it also. Give text align center to heading to align the text in center. Use text transform capitalize to make first letter capital of all words. Give some margin bottom to it also. Now select headings element span and give it a bluish color. Now create a div with class main. This will contain our card and options both. Make a div inside it with card class. This will be our card. Use display flex here. Display flex is a CSS layout which makes items alignment easy for us. Give it some padding. Flex wrap will wrap or break the flex box if needed, making the website little responsive. Give card 45% width, but also give min width. Give height, background, position relative, border radius, padding to the card. Now give a background image to the card.
Our background image is okay, but if we put text over the card, it will be hard to read, for that make a dark overlay over the card. Use before pseudo element to make that. For pseudo elements, content property is very important. You can see the black overlay. Down its opacity. Great. Now set overflow hidden to the card. As you can see sharp corners around the card. Inside card element, make a div for logo. Give relative position to it. Set its width and height to 100 pixels. And border radius to 50% to circle shape. Display block and margin auto, will place this logo at center. This is one way to center the item without using flexbox. Set background image now. Now make input fields for the text. Give class to the input, we just need these classes for style. Max length attribute sets the maximum letters allowed for the input. And use placeholder also. Make this input's copy. Change the class name, max length, and placeholder value. You can see the input but we can't click on it. Why? Because they are below the dark overlay. Position relative will make the input above the overlay. Align the text in center. Outline none remove the black outline, we see when clicking on input box. Give some margin top, bottom to it. Set background to none. And width to 100%. Now style inputs placeholder. This is a placeholder selector. Change the font size of slogan input field. Add a background color to the input on focus.
Now make two inputs again, give them placeholder and class name. Give some styles to the inputs. Set website links left to zero. Set its right to zero, and give text align right. Now make settings container. Give its width to 50%. Now make file upload input inside this. Accept attribute define what files to accept. hidden attribute hides this input. Now make label and give file uploads ID in for attribute. Now style the button element here. Give these basic styles. If you don't know any of these styles, feel free to ask me in comments. Add hover and focus effect to the button. Change its background color here. Now create background container. Make a div with class backgrounds. Inside this make image elements. Give 100% width to backgrounds. Use display grid here. Grid template columns used to define columns of the grid. Grid gap adds gap between cells.
Now style the images. Give it width and height 100%. Object fit property size the image without breaking its proportions. Add hover effect to the image now. Style active image also. Now make download button. Add a link element also. But here, don't give any text. This will be our download link. Add download attribute to it. And inside download attribute you can type the file name. Done, we are done with all styles. Now let's make this working with JS. Select File Upload Input and Logo Element here. Add Change Event to Upload Input. Console.log the file here.
current background images active as Then add active class to clicked image. And use style method to change the background image of card. Then set its active BG to its index. It is also done. For download we have to use one library. Search HTML2 Canvas on Google. Click on the first link. Click on HTML2 Canvas.MinimumJS. Copy this URL. Add this inside HTML file. Now select download button. Make an export card function. And call the export card function on clicking the download button. Console.log here for now. Click on the download button. It's working. Now make the function. Now we'll use the HTML2 Canvas library here. Type HTML2 Canvas and pass the card element inside it. This will convert the whole card element into a canvas. Use then block. Here access the canvas that we got from the above promise. For now log the canvas. You can see a canvas here. We just need to download this now. Select the link element that we made in HTML. Set its ref to this. The data URL will give us a URL for the canvas so we can download it. And at last click on the link. You can see we got this error. What this error is. It's basically stopping us from converting the canvas into a link. I searched about this error and found that to fix this we need to host the site online. But I am not gonna this site online, so now I am going to initialize node app here. To run this site on local host. So let's quickly create a server. Initialize npm with npm init. Now install Nodemon and Express.js package. Open package.json file and make these changes.
Make server.js file now. Import Express Library first. And quickly make a server like this. Send index.html file on home root. Make server listen on 3000 port. Now start the server by running npm start command. Go to localhost now. Great. Our server is working. Now if we download the card, we'll get no error. You can see the downloaded image. This is not perfect right? I searched about this also. I found that I was using wrong CDN. To fix this just go on Google and search HTML2 Canvas CDNJS. Click on first link. Copy first link. Replace the previous CDN with this script. Now if we see the downloaded image, it perfect now. We are done now. Let's the result in full working now. Let's see the result in full working now. So that's it for today guys. I hope you understood each and everything. If you are facing an error or have any doubt, feel free to ask me on comments. Make sure to subscribe the channel for more awesome tutorials. Thanks for watching.